Hello world, how would you like to be changed? How can we even ask this? There are so many problems. No one would say the same thing. This is Fernando. He is a little orphan boy from Brazil who lives in slum. He would change the world by making sure everyone has electricity. But his big request is that he be given a chance to make some money so he can change the future for himself and his friends. Tina is working for a supermarket in the UK. She buys vegetables from all over the world and needs a good price so she can stay in business. But she wants to be fair to the farmers she buys from. It makes no sense to her to see so much food thrown away each week. Granny is a little girl in India. She would have a well in her village for clean water. And the road to her school would always be clear. Weather patterns have changed recently, so nobody knows when the floods are coming. Amal is in Somalia. Illegal trawling and chemical pollution in the oceans means he can't catch any fish, so he's got no job. Amal just wants to feed his family again. And Eugenie, she's an old lady from Louisiana, USA. She wants to afford the medicine she needs, but if she really tells the truth, she just wants fairness. Her whole life been unfair because she is a woman and because she's black. How should you change the world? The question our governments have been asking for a long time. They talk and talk and talk for many, many years because like I said, nobody says the same thing. But then, despite their differences, they did it. They agreed on new goals. They called them the Sustainable Development Goals and they cover all these things for everyone. 17 goals, 17 dreams, 17 things that they all sign their name to say they agree. These goals aren't big, they are huge, they are ambitious and they are wild. But they are not just the fantasies of a child. This is all the leaders and all the people with the money and power saying yes, this is possible. This is happening. This is achievable within our lifetime. Our leaders are saying this, but this is our future. So it's our responsibility to make sure it's not just fancy words, that these dreams will become a reality. We've got to hold them to it to make sure we, in all the places we live in, demand they keep their promises. We've got to join together. We've got to make some noise because this is our future and it's the one we all want.